All right, good afternoon. I made it here to Cape Cod. My first time ever in Cape Cod. Have you been to Cape Cod? It's really kind of nice. It reminds me of the Hamptons and it's a little quiet here now. Most of the people are in Florida and they come back and uh, June was telling me that uh, the numbers increased by 10, 10 times the normal number come during the summer. So it's usually about 50,000 now. And then in the summer, it's like 500,000. If anyone's there, if you could send me a heart or just say hi, that would be great. I always like to know that we're live, so I'm not wasting my whole day. Oh, there you go. Thank you, whoever did that. Um, I don't see any comments yet. A comment would be great too. There you go, Bonnie. You're the best. Thank you. So um, I'm here at Quiltish in Cape Cod. It's kind of neat. This is um, June's, June Herald. It's her house and her quilt shop and her quilt shop is adorable and everything or most of her stuff here is uh, nautical and uh, sea stuff and beach stuff. So it's very cool. So this is um, kind of we're gonna go kind of in the entry but she said during the summer they have tents out here and lots of quilts and uh, it's really quite quaint and sweet and if you're in Cape Cod uh, it would be great for you to come and check out her shop. Uh, tonight, I'm going to be speaking at a guild, and uh, hopefully anyone who's local will come and see me. That would be great. Um, but so anyway, so we're going to go. We're going to enter uh, June's studio. June is also going to be a designer for Studio E. Her new line is coming out in um, May, and it won't be shipping until January next year. It's really neat. And uh, I think you guys are really going to like this treat. Don't forget, the real reason why I'm here, aside from going to the Guild tonight, was because June won the challenge that we had for the uh, Licensed Designer Challenge, uh, where we did the studio tours. So part of her reward outside of the chocolate that I got her from my local shop was that I would come and do an interview. And we're going to call this an interview, which is a shop tour. So um, this is very cool. And um, G uh, June also was a participant uh, she was one of the shops that did a video, a live video, when I had the video challenge at the shop. So uh, June is going to give us a tour around. She's going to show you some great things. She's going to offer some things for sale that, you know, for all you people who are on the coast or know someone near the coast uh, that would love a quilt with a lighthouse or a beach or sand or something like that, this is the place to go. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it around and let's do this, guys. You ready? All right, so here, let's start off. I just need to show you this. This is always nice, always a treat. It brightens up your day when you see a rainbow. So here is Quiltish, and I'm gonna show you a little sign. And then this is June. Here we go. Oh, Scott, come on Hi, in. June. Hi, how are you? All right, thanks for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure, thank you. All right, so let me just give them a, a quick panoramic just so sure. they get an idea. This room is it's kind of small, but it's packed with so much goodness. I think you're gonna really love it. And it's really, she uses the space so efficiently. Uh, there's a Studio E line. Gonna give you a quick tour around just to give you the full feel. And then she's got this table in the middle with all these quilts. There's the new line that we're gonna talk about. There's an old Studio E line. These are some of her good sellers. All right, so now you got it. This is the room. What size do you think this is, maybe? Oh, I know exactly what, what it is. What is it? It's, uh, are you ready? Nine by 14. Nine by 14, okay. Nine by 14. So I have to really be efficient, and I have to know my customer. I cannot afford, you know, to offer something people don't want. So uh, I make the best use as I can. And But that's good advice for everybody. Yes. You need to buy what you, what's working and get rid of the stuff that isn't working. That's you try right. things and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Well, I'll tell you, I'll even go to the length. If, if somebody really isn't going to buy something, I find that our local guilds are extremely effective of turning fabric into charitable goods. And uh, there have been a lot of organizations on Cape Cod and in Massachusetts that benefit because I will just give them bolts of fabric. Um, I'm with I, you there and I love that. That's awesome. Wait, yeah. let me just do one sure. thing. Someone sure. asked me to show them the sharks. And we'll show you more of that. June's going to tell you all about that. You want to start with that? Or sure, you wanna... why not? All right. So, that? Um, so that's called the Chatham Chiller. Chatham is a town on Cape Cod. And uh, Cape Cod and Nantucket and Martha's Vineyard are known for the movie Jaws. Um, apart from the drama of sharks, sharks are amazing animals. And Chatham is on the Atlantic coast of Cape Cod. And you can see a lot of sharks there. Uh, I encourage you to look up sharks on Wikipedia and, and take a good look. Very rarely are they dangerous. Very rarely do they threaten humans. That's not what those sharks, those animals really are. They're wonderful creatures. 
So uh, I'm one for alliteration. So Chatham Chiller, and it's a chiller because it is a wine bottle cover. There is insulation in here, Bosel foam, and then also some Inselbright. And uh, I'll show you these in a minute. But I'll show you the big, the big one here because. Um, you know, is it, I, those are for the magnums. That's, this is for the magnums, <laughs> that's right. Uh, it's also for, you know, uh, if you have a sports team that has a shark as a mascot, this is a great one for holding up. Or the, kids, the kids must like that, too. Yeah. Well, you can turn it into a pillow. Wait, of hold, hold it. Yeah, uh, yeah, like that. Exactly. Yeah, you can turn this into All a right, pillow. check this out, guys. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I see some cave. Is oh, that it's, all, it's, it's all KFC. It's all KFC. It's all KFC. Look at that. Holy cow. One of the things that I find interesting is, is that so often a quilter will look at these, and there are a lot of other versions of it here. This is all KFC, uh, as well as the smaller ones. And they'll think, oh, this is a great scrap project. Yes, it is a great scrap project using KFC or Tula Pink works wonders, too. They're saying my picture is blurry. Is it still blurry? Oh. Okay, we're yeah, gonna. You keep might going be moving a little too fast, just you know. Anyway, can you, is it blur, still blurry now? I don't know. We'll see if anyone okay. says anything. All right, um, you know, people are drawn to these for a reason. It's not just for the shape; it's for the aesthetics. And what I encourage people to do is take one of the kits, which will make it exactly as you see it here. Make it once with the kit, and then go off on your own and try it with other things. Um, the, uh, I love the uh, shark fabric that Brendan Mabley designed. It's perfect for this because we actually put it in the mouth of the shark right at the end here. Yeah, I don't know if you The shark's see. teeth. The shark's teeth, that's awesome. right. So that plus the zipper. But Some anyway. people are having camera issues, some people aren't. I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm sorry. Maybe it's your phone. All so. right. Where can they get the kit? That's the first question uh, okay. I'm getting here. Well, for everybody... I'm glad you asked. That's right. I'm very glad you asked. So, uh, from Quiltish of Cape Cod, that's the name of my business. Spell it. The word quilt, I-S-H of Cape Cod. But really, just email me and say that you saw me on Scott's video. And I'll give you... It normally is $30. I'll give you the price of $26.99 for everybody who's viewing Send me an email. Don't send me a Facebook message. Message I can't track orders that way. Wait, so what's your email? June. That's the month of June. J-U-N-E at quiltish.com. Q-U-I. L as in Larry. T as in Tom. I. S as in Sam. H. Dot com. No dashes or anything like that? Not in the email address. Jennifer, no, no dash on the... Um on the email address. On the email address, Okay, right. fine. So that's awesome. Right, so email me, and I'm going to send you a link where you can learn more about it so that you know exactly what to order. Do you have a kit for the big one, too? Uh, no, but when you get the kit, the template's inside. It's pretty simple. You're just going to um, increase on a photocopy of the template to the size that you want. So you'll take it to Kinko's because you'll need a big machine, or else you'll end up taping together a lot of pieces uh, of paper to make the template. So you can do it at any size. Okay, awesome. Right. So we made this specifically for a show that we were at, and we wanted to draw people in, you know, from a quarter mile away down the convention hall to see a big fish, right? So that's why we did this. Uh, so again, the kit, you can get it in red, and it's all of these fabrics. It's the exact fabrics that you see here. How much, how many, is it a yard, or is it not that much? Oh, gosh. Uh, Maybe a little no. less? Well, we give you, it's a little less because you want to be able to fussy cut. We tell you exactly how to get a look into an experiment. So you need a little bit larger fabric than just little pieces like this in order to be really able to cut it to the way that you want. So it comes in red or it comes in blue. And the kit includes a template for this larger size, and it has everything that you need, the zipper, the insole bright, the bosal foam, everything, and the four buttons for the beady eyes. But you will also have enough fabric, just fabric, left over to make the Provincetown pup. Ah. Pups are baby the sharks. Bonus. Yeah. So you'll have to get buttons and a zipper and the... Um, the pattern tells you what size zipper you need and so forth. Okay. So, you know, you can use these for any number of things. Uh, so that's that. Um, All right. You want to talk about your line or you want to talk about the other quilt on the wall? Well, my emphasis uh, is on coastal living. Whether or not you're a tourist coming to a coastal area for vacation, whether you have a second home, whether you own homes that you rent here on the Cape, because that is quite a business in the summer here. 
um, or whether you know you've lived on a coast at other times in your life uh, and you want to be reminded of where you grew up um, or what the experience felt like so whether I design my own fabric about New England Cape Cod specifically or I use free spirit or other brands um, to make coastal uh, designs uh, that's what this business currently is all about. So an example is, and I've shown this many times, I'm also providing a discount. This is the small item discount. Wait, stand in front so we can yeah. see you and hear you at the same time. That's good. So uh, no matter how many times I talk about this, I'm always amazed at how many people love it. Um, this is uh, the round and round uh, quilt design that is in K Facets Bold Blooms. I took that pattern and I just adapted some of the proportions because I wanted to take Philip Jacobs shell bouquet fabric, which is much wider when you cut out the large bouquet out of that fabric uh, fabric's design uh, to really show it off. So that required me to go around and adjust some of the proportions. This is a very easy quilt to make. If you make it just according to my amendments and the pattern that's in the book, it finishes around 72 by 73, but it's very easy to turn into a queen or king. All you end up doing is adding enough borders here to have 10 inches additional all the way around this quilt to get to a queen size. Um, and the colors I chose, the fabrics I chose, this phenomenal regimental stripe fabric, which can be cut in so many different ways to get different effects. This all comes from the same fabric. Uh, uh, is Essentially, these are all the colors of Cape Cod and how we experience the spring, the summer, and the fall here. And it's why I chose these fabrics uh, and this particular light dark contrast uh, and combination of colors. And so even if I take somebody else's design, uh, whether it's a quilt design and also somebody else's quilt fabrics, I will turn it into something that really is about the experience of the aesthetics that you get when you visit here or you live here. Um, so this is- I love that quilt, it's so awesome. So how can we get it? Oh, okay. Well, this comes as a kit and you get all of the fabric for the top plus the binding, the regimental fabric. And normally the kit is $110. Uh, but I will sell it to anybody who's interested now from this video um, for $95 a kit. And uh, it comes out to around uh, eight and a half to nine or ten yards. I, I, it escapes me right now. But with that, um, uh, you get the fabric, you get the binding, then you also get my amendment to the pattern. But you do need to either go to your library and get the book or look on Amazon uh, and get a copy of it. I don't carry the books. The place is small, mm -hmm. as you saw when you came in. And I'm not really a full service quilt shop. So, uh, and I also would have to sell it at more money than you can have to pay for it if you go to uh, somewhere else. Uh, somewhere else. <laughs> so that's why I do what I do. Okay, awesome. Right. So, uh, just along the lines of the shark, every year I participate in row by row. Um, and. Uh, Sharks really were a theme for me last year because the show, the theme was music. So this is a design here where I'm using KFC batiks plus my own design. This is called the Jaws Song. This is a panel. Oh my God, the Jaws Song. Right. Yeah. I wrote, the, yeah, yeah. So I wrote the music. I come from a family of musicians. And uh, for those of you who knows music, the tempo is one that is for impending doom. <laughs> That's 80 beats a measure. Uh, Arabayata means angry. So um, there's a lot going on in here. We get a lot of musicians coming through the Cape on vacation, and it appealed to them, and it appealed to Row by Rowers. This is Gay Head Light on Martha's Vineyard, and it is in the waters off Gay Head where the movie Jar Jaws was shot. So here it's, you know... Uh, shouldn't we be worried about sharks? Oh, no, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll hear them. <laughs> you, you know, right. So I like to put humor uh, into these things. This is 12 by 27. It also makes a great big bolt for a chaise longue or on your porch in the summer or even just if there are a lot of people who love sharks and get a big That's kick out great. of this. And kids like it, too. So they put it at the head of their Someone's bed. saying they remember your row from last summer. Ah, okay. Oh, so that's this. That's. I'll show you which one that is. Anyone remember this line? This is an old studio. What was this one called again? Uh, Barnacle Bay. Barnacle Bay. By yeah. Debbie. Debbie Hobbs. I think. Yeah. So for the shop owners out there, 
So this was one of my learning experiences. I personally love this panel and I bought boatloads of it. So I had all the coordinating fabrics, sold those. People made the uh, quilt, but I had tons of the panels left. So I'm thinking, what am I gonna do with this? So I find that pillows for a variety of reasons, one just uh, strategically for a small shop, they take up less space, but they're also very quick projects. Uh, quilters, you know, uh, spend a lot of time on quilts and sometimes you need something really quick to give as a gift. Uh, or to just have for a child or... or what about or, the satisfaction of completing something in a reasonable amount of time? Oh, absolutely. It's very rewarding. Yeah, <laughs> there's, but there's something else I love to do too. You know, quilters will take scraps of fabric from various designers that they've used in lots of projects. I do that, like everybody else, but I also like to buy fabrics by different designers for one project. And in this case, so this is Studio E. This is one of six motifs. The panel has six of these. The other side has another one of them. So I will take those small panels and make them into double-sided pillows. So here's the block. I took a batik. Then two Allison glass fabrics from here to here. This is from the Deep Dive collection. Okay, here, these two. And then also Allison Glass also had this seagrass fabric that was more of a linen. And I thought, oh my God, that is perfect. You may not be able to see it in the video, but that seagrass fabric, that color, those colors are the exact same colors in the plant in the seagrass here. Wow. And so it pulls it all together and it really makes a, a special little thing. Um, and, you know, to make it easy for the quilter, I give him the roping. I give him Let's the pattern. That. Lift that up. I give him the roping, the pattern, all the fabric. I also, whenever I give instructions, I always put in a URL to a YouTube video awesome. that will show a technique. So in this case, for somebody who has never put piping on anything, YouTube's your best friend uh, because you can watch the videos and you'll know instantly. Every sewing machine uh, comes with a basic zipper foot. Uh, a zipper foot is, is the easiest way, at least for me, to, to attach piping. But you can also use other basic uh, foot feet that come with your machine. You don't have to buy anything special. So there's one thing about this, about my business, is, is because in the summer, I literally have 3,000 people coming through this shop in a 12-week period. And I know this, one, I know by the number of my transactions, but those transactions bring in people who are with them, who don't necessarily buy anything. So at a minimum, I know that it's 3,000. So, and, and that's not an exaggeration. The, the Cape is a major travel destination in the world, and we get people from all over the world. Anyway, I always do small packages like this because people need to put them into their suitcases yeah. or their bags for the airline. And also, frankly, a small package like this, I can save on postage, which means a savings for the customer to whom I'm shipping something like this. Exactly. It's, it's why Chatham Chiller is folded a specific way. And for the shops out there, I always use vented bags. Why? Because if I lean on it when I put it into the package, when I send it, it's like turning it into something vacuum packed. I'll put the flap over and tape it down to keep the air out. You know what's funny? What? How you said, oh, our video will only be 10 minutes. We're going on 20 minutes. We're barely, right, well, we're barely, we're barely getting going here. Well, but you can wrap up. We, no, one. I don't want to wrap up. That's okay, a, we got to show your line. You okay, had a couple well, more quilts. And I think you wanted to have Terry to come in here. And oh, yeah, she'll show hold up. Okay, so sorry it's taking so long. It's okay. It's great. So, I, listen, I'm all something, good Well, something that was wonderful, the first contest that Scott um, threw uh, brought me to his attention and to other folks at his company. And we started a conversation and then Megan Downer, one of the um, creative heads there at the company, has a sister who lives locally. So she came, she visited and we talked. I showed her my lighthouse, and um, which is this. Uh, this is, uh, Scott, you might wanna show yep, it. Yeah, I'm doing that. This is um, a small version of the lighthouse. It's for a throw quilt. And um, uh, this is unique to me. So Scott and the folks at Jaftex really love this lighthouse, which they're telling me. us to slow down. They want us to keep going. Okay. So don't worry. All right. <laughs> okay. I can always put up a link to still photographs of these items for you too. Uh, anyway, um, this lighthouse is called the light keepers quilt. And I will tell you that the inspiration for this comes from two sources. One, 
uh, one of the last uh, light keepers to actually live in a lighthouse is in the Boston Light here in Massachusetts. And also she's one of the only female light keepers uh, still working today. She's a quilter. So when I heard this and I'm looking and, and I go to all of the lighthouses on the Cape to get inspiration. It's a blank canvas. Uh, to me, to me, a lighthouse, the trunk of a lighthouse is just a blank canvas, the way a farm field may be to some painters. Uh, and, and you know, all those puzzles out there that have quilts in them that you can buy. Those are typically from paintings, right? So the lighthouse became a canvas for me. And I, I actually have quite a few lighthouses. This one is very near and dear to my heart. Um, so uh, Scott and other folks at Jeff Tex liked it and so here you want to put it down here on the table maybe sure. we could light all out and then I'll do a, pa so, a pan over it sure so we have a collection coming out but let's oh, close it just the front oh, cover so no no not the whole thing just close the cover yeah okay. there you go so this is the cover the light keepers quilt by quilt dish of Cape Cod okay now let's show them the goodies okay so the panel is 24 wide by 42 and Four, 44 for pardon me 44 it's okay and it includes i love this um i was hopeful this when i suggested this and drew it out i was so happy that people liked it uh it comes from the cone up here at the top of the lighthouse to it's repeat like it i cat ish or e cat however you say that you yeah it's a, yes it's a it's a it's I like, like a that. It's cool. yeah. and so you can cut the cut these up off of the panel you can leave them out but you can cut them up uh, for any kind of patchwork and um, the uh, the free pattern that will go with this quilt is a brand new one that I've designed and I'm very lucky that Heidi Pride Moore, a name many of you know is actually going to write the pattern from the design that I did all right, I'm going to interrupt you. Yeah. So let's talk through each SKU sure. and just do it that way, and then we'll show them the project on the back that, yeah, that yeah. we're going to have. Okay. okay. So this is the water, and the colors in this water are just spectacular, as you can see. And they basically, uh, d they're as good as uh, my original versions, which were digitally printed, and usually saturated color is fantastic in digital printing. That could probably be a basic, because uh, it's amazing. I, it's, lo I love the it's movement. The it's, movement, it's but amazing. the layers of the coloring. It's so real. Yeah, the designers on your end really, really made this work for how the technique of how your fabric is printed. Okay, and then you have the then stripe. Then a stripe. Um, a lot of people have trouble with stripe, but the way that we're going to do the free pattern, we'll show you different ways to cut this to really get a lot out of it instead of just running verticals and horizontals. Can you do me a favor? Yeah. Do you mind cracking the door open? I'm getting super sure, hot. Sure, no problem. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Always get hot. And I'm not even on the hot seat and I'm getting hot. Look how awesome this one is. So what's the deal with this one? Those are hexagons. So I'm going to show you a quilt in just a second that takes seven of my original panels. Six of them were stripped and cut in the triangles and hexagons were made. It's a hexified panel. These actually are the hexagons that are made when you cut six of the finished panel so the point here is is that you don't have to do that if you don't want to you can uh, if you are experienced you can fussy cut these out and applique them and put them together any way you want but the pattern that i created as a freebie off of the um, uh, studio east site uh, uses this in a way uh, where you can just leave it as uh, strips of borders. It's fantastic. And then she's got the little fish bones. Yes, and these are coordinating fabrics. Uh, the fish appear in the panel. The darker fish are up here at the lantern. That's what a light is called up there. And then the medium blue fish bones are down here. And because it's Cape Cod, just as a little insider joke, I did fashion these bones after codfish. Okay, again, guys, so this is a 12 SKU collection. It's going to ship in January. If there are any shop owners out there, we will be putting this up for sale at Quilt Market in May. So these are amazing. I always love these. I think my customers in the Southwest always want something in this color, you know, to um, the, with the sun and the mountain. So that's going to be good for that and, of course, for, for your project here. And then we have these clouds, which look so amazingly real. I mean, I think you're converting a lot of people to lighthouses. That's what they're telling <laughs> me good. in the comments. So go ahead, keep talking, I'm, I'm listening. All right, so all the coordinating fabrics are pulling out details from the panel, and that becomes obvious. We have the constellation, which is up here in the very top ring of the lantern at the top. Yep, and here. Yeah, and then 
I really, even though uh, there have been other tone-on-tone uh, uh, lighthouse patterns, I really wanted to have real lighthouses in this. So there's only one lighthouse from Cape Cod and it is Nauset Light. This is the white tone on tone. Then we have it with blue and white. So is the repeat on that just that no, lighthouse? Oh, no, it's there's, different. there are real lighthouses from the west coast, the east coast, uh, the southern portion of the U.S., the Northwest. I really wanted to get, and even some of the Great Lakes okay. are representative. I love lighthouses, and I wanted to get the whole country. All right, wait, uh, and then we got this. Uh, oh, so this is the water in the dark this is blue. A the other blue. one is the aqua. Yeah. All right, so just as an add-on, just so you guys know, when we show these color cards, we add our basics just as an added sale for our rep, so they could suggest that to the shop owner. So just telling you for right. a little. Right, and also concept. the free pattern, just so you know, I used almost every single one of these. These are brilliant as uh, blenders uh, to calm down some of the busier parts and then also to act to help calm down the hexagons. Yes, for you guys uh, who read my blog, on Monday I did a blog about this Studio E Basics and just color is one that's really been around for a very long time. Oh, so this is perfect. So they answer our question. So this is the more of the print so you could see the various um, lighthouses and I mean I don't think we need to give them a lesson now on all of these I think they get the drift um, but really very nice and now so now you get to see the full repeat of the water I love look at this nice green and yellow in there it's so great yeah. oh and the free project's not on here no because I just handed uh, it we in we don't have the free project <laughs> yet okay so I love that that's awesome and I definitely want to see that quilt okay. so so let me just say Terry are you there let me just get to and it. And then somebody okay. else asked what this was because they saw it. Do you want to tell us briefly what this is? Yes, uh, um, that is an Elizabeth Hartman pattern uh, from her Modern Patchwork book. It's a completely different colorway, and the motifs that are in the center of each one of the houses um, are sea life and seashells. Again, I will take other people's designs and other people's fabrics and really turn it into something that's about the Cape. I have Brendan Mabley's Shantytown fabric in there because to me it's representative of Wellfleet, Truro, and other places on the Cape. And the, this other fabric that he's done looks like Oh, you have it as sand. a kit? Yeah, I have oh, it as so, a kit. So there's actually on, only one. There's one kit left, one kit and I don't, I don't plan on kitting it up. It. It's, Go to the highest bidder. It was 110. It's now 75. Now 120. You, it's, now it's 130, 140. Yeah, do very I hear 150? funny. Very funny. <laughs> Boy, you're hired. Uh, anyway, you do need the Elizabeth Hartman book, and it says it right on here as well, and you can get that used online. So I have one of these left. This is gorgeous fabric. I can send you more pictures. It's now 200. Yeah. Oh, so 250. Yeah, Keep talking. There you go, 260. There you go. All right. So I want to show you how we did the light Meet keepers. Terry. Hi, Terry. This is Terry. She does a lot of, if not all of the uh, long arming in my shop. So right. this is kind of like Terry, an Terry, you coming to the meeting tonight? No, I Oh, work. Terry. I work two jobs. That's the wrong answer. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Is what for sale? Is the last kit for sale? Yeah, it's now 350. <laughs> June at quiltish.com. Yes. Okay. And I'll put that email in a comment. Uh, and whoever gets to me first, it's yours. Wait, this isn't working for me. It's too it's wonky. Ah, uh, there okay. you go, Terry. All right. So. This is amazing. Right. So uh, this is the hexified quilt. Um, it is not the free pattern. I've done a better one for everybody. Uh, but I will point out one thing. I said to you when we showed you off of the design cards that the hexagons are the exact hexagons you get if you do three and a quarter inch hexagons, if you cut the panel that way. Um, this was in the fabric, the little swatch we showed you, and so were all these others. So again, we've done it for people, and if people want to do it on their own, they can do that too, and it'll be far more affordable Terry, you have a fan. Susan Adler. Su Suzanne, such Suzanne. an awesome long armor. <laughs> so that's this. Um, there's one other kit that I have that people might be interested in here. Terry, can you take this? Susan Dunn, she wants the last house kit. It's okay. now 400. Susan, I'll do the best I e e can. Email her, she'll email send it to me. you. Yeah. First, first email in gets it. What email again? June at quiltish.com. Yeah, June like the month. June like the month. So. Uh I don't know. You guys probably don't recognize this fabric. I'm sure no one's going to know. This is someone 
This is Tula Zuma. Yes, they all know Tula yes, Zuma. Of course they do. I'm just um, being silly. And I did take the free pattern for the anchor, but I had a lot of fun in how I, I used the same light dark contrast, but in fussy cutting that fabric and putting it in here. Did you make this all by yourself? Yes. Wow. No, I actually, I had a woman named Donna make this for me, and then uh, Terry quilted it. Terry, uh, nice, Terry. I'm going to have to send you some stuff to to uh, quilt yep. for me. Thank yep. you. And then we use Tula shells on the back here. Uh, yep. Yeah. So this is this is a fantastic quilt. And this, again, is the kind of thing, listen, I can't reinvent something that is perfect right from the start, right? So, um, again, for second homeowners here on the Cape, or if you live on a coast, this is phenomenal. It is queen size. Uh, it's light, it's airy, uh, you look at it, you know, uh, that, that wave fabric from Tula Zuma co uh, collection on various waves, it says smooth seas yeah. never made a sil yeah. skilled sailor. It, and it's really subtle, it's, it's hard to see. Yeah, it's up here. here All right, so yeah. everyone loves seeing quilts. So why don't we just show a couple more and maybe if you want to close up or... All um, right, so let's just put these over there. Here, so we have this one. Yeah. I, this is a Studio E one, so I'm obviously partial to this. This yes. is from the Ocean State line. This and, is, yep. and it uses the panel, which has the different layers of the water starting at the bottom and working it up. And this, it, is it, this the, oh no, you added your own stuff. There's no, batiks no, no. in this, here. This, this is the shark fabric as part of that collection. Right, and then it looks like you added some batik. Right. So you added your own little touch, but it's really nice. It came well, out it, awesome. It's my touch, but also for the shop owners out there, oftentimes I'll fall in love with a collection, but because I've already made my decisions for the budget on what I'm really going to spend money on, I still want the panel. I will take other batiks and other fabrics and at least one coordinating fabric from the collection so that I can offer this. And the other motivating factor is, is that there was a free pattern for this and it was easy to adapt to what I needed. Yes, yeah, so free, yeah, well, the Panel patterns are usually easy and yeah. easy for yeah. me to. I'm just saying that it was easy for me to say, yeah. but I didn't make the quilt, so I, <laughs> I, I know it's harder than I'm making it. Uh, do you have any more of these? Uh, well, uh, you've caught me at a time. We okay, just got sorry. all of the Laurel Birch uh, Sea Goddess fabrics in, and all okay. I can tell you is, is that the pattern, the design that I will come up with this, will be fantastic, and I will be posting it to uh, Quiltish of Cape Cod. I will uh, mention one other thing. I've talked about how local uh, I do content um, and how I like to do pillows and other things. This is a, a quilt that is an homage to uh, cranberry uh, growing on the Cape. And of course, Cape Cod was the first place in the country that commercially grew uh, cranberries and the very first commercial bog is just a couple of blocks down from me. Anyway, over the years I've collected the cranberry labels. I love them as graphic art. The ones that I've chosen for this quilt plus the newspaper stories that are in here. Oh, they love this one. There's a story in here. This is about Parody. quilt growing 1930 six to 1945 pre-war and world war ii very cool and there's a lot going on in this and if anybody's interested how I old is it oh i just this was just made this is a whole cloth quilt ah. so all we did was is that we quilted around ah so that's what right it looks like it's pieced. right you um, can cut it up if you want to but i mean it's it tells a story in the way that i've got it here someone's asking if you're open now so maybe we should tell them that okay so yes if you i sell year round online so you can always get me online right now i'm redesigning quiltish.com so it's frustrating you'll go there and you'll you won't see much of what you've just seen now so that's why you email me but really if you go to the all one word quiltish of cape cod no hyphen no dash quiltish of cape cod on facebook go through the photos go through the videos i've got tons of videos in there on product you'll see everything that you've seen today and you can contact me through email uh, or ask questions through facebook um so anyway, so this is the wait. So, so, yeah. so wait, hang on. You didn't really answer the question. Sorry. When are you open? Let's tell them. Oh that. yes. What, what, so when? officially, with regular business hours, I open on May twenty third every year, Memorial Day, and I go to mid December. And then, of course, the Cape is empty. <laughs> Everybody goes to Florida, or there's maybe thirty thousand people left living here when it's normally around a million in the summer. So uh, I open for retreats, and I just had a very large retreat in. So if you let me know, at least, you know, three or four days before you come, I open for you. I create special discounts for you. Uh, customer service is great because nobody else is walking in. I also do private appointments. Uh, and then I also... Do you teach at all? Um, no, not yet. 
uh, mm -hmm. because I'm really focusing on designing fabric. I have some things, the, the Ocean Edge Resort, uh, some resorts on the Cape have asked me to come and do things for certain conventions. So who knows, maybe some of you will see me at some point. This is new Wait to, one second. Yes. Before, be, I'm sorry. That's I'm just saying we're getting questions. The cranberry thing, is that available or is that yes, just is. custom? No. Uh, no, um, it, I do print it on demand, so I do use spoon flour. Hopefully more in the future I'll be going to people like Jaftex, uh, and they'll want my designs. But for the th some of the things that I do that I have manufactured myself, this is a whole cloth quilt, and this is $65. I can give you 10% off if you want to order this. Again, email me, so I'll take six fifty dollars off. And, of course, there will be some shipping costs to get it to you. Uh, I have these printed on demand. I currently have two in stock. So if I get more orders, I usually, you know, get a new batch in within two weeks. Uh, so that's that. Um, there's only one other, one other thing maybe I, I want to oh, show I you. I lost the comments. No. Oh, I, but it's okay. We don't okay. see the comments. Sorry, I, I, I deleted the I didn't delete them, but I turned them off by accident. Okay. I couldn't get them on. Okay. But all right, let's keep going. Okay. We're doing great. So I had a smaller version of this uh, for many years. This is a map of the Cape that has lots of little motifs all over it. This is a tea towel. It makes a great present just itself if you want to give it to somebody who's ever been on the Cape or lived here. I think of it as a kid's map because it does a great job of teaching the kids all the various things about our environment here, the sea life, the hydrangeas, the lobsters, bi bicycle trails, pilgrims, you name it. But uh, actually, adults buy it for themselves, <laughs> too. So, But what I've done this year, I now have this. I have a map for the state of Massachusetts, for Boston, for New Hampshire, for Maine, even for Cambridge, and for Florida. Uh, and I'm going to be putting all of those up on the Quiltish of Cape Cod business page. These are fantastic, and they're quick projects. Um, I just We just made this um, uh, sample, and look, I love a lot of loud color personally. So when I'm testing a new concept, I'll usually make uh, uh, something that's got with K, uh, fabric, K-fabric with it. I happen to love this. This would make a nice little baby quilt. Um, but we're going to do it with some more traditional presentation around it to show you how you can also use it with less colorful fabric. So again, I have this for a lot of different states, uh, but this is this one's just Cape Cod. And I'm showing you this because, um, as everybody knows, people like map fabric. We have an event coming that is important to the country's history. As you know, the country really got its foundations here on the Cape. It started in Provincetown, and then the pilgrims went to Plymouth Rock. This is a map of England. This is a prototype. This is not my final design. It's too busy. I started with a map that was actually done in 1936 by a woman map maker whose name was Edith, Edith Tunnell. So this is inspiration for me. Again, I used some K fabric to put on this. And I'm reworking a large part of it. But what this is showing is, this is the path of the Mayflower leaving Holland stopping because it had troubles twice around the southern coast of England, and then finally making its merry way on uh, to the States. But more importantly, the founding fathers, uh, if you will, and it, they were men, uh, the names and the crests from England are all on here. And where those individuals were from, which shires, we think of counties, it's shires in England. And... Um, uh, so uh, the shires are on here. The names of the individuals where their families started are in the actual shire. For example, my shop is in Brewster, and the individual off of the Mayflower was Elder Brewster. He actually was from Nottingham, and that's why his name Brewster is here in Nottingham. But I've also taken uh, names that are common around the U.S. and particularly in New England for towns, and I've inserted those towns where the origin of those names came from in these shires. So I'm actually building this out, and I'm doing it because in the year 2020, it's the 400th anniversary of the Mayflower, which means uh, it's really the four. It's a big anniversary, and there will be a lot going on in the Cape, and it's a great time. Uh, to come for a visit. So this I'm is sorry, video is not clear. I don't know what's going on. We're in the basement. Maybe that's why we are using Wi-Fi. I thought it was going to be good. No, I have sorry. no idea. Oh, all the videos on uh, the business page, Quiltish of Cape Cod, were all shot exactly the way that Scott's mm, doing it. Knows? So it could be the wind. We've had a nor'easter almost the last few days. So 
don't don't be frustrated. We'll get you the images, and you can probably see all this right now on Quiltish of Cape Cod. All right, so why don't we wrap up? I'm going to do a little talk on. Why sure. don't you just go through once more? Tell us where you're located when you're open so people know. Sure. Uh, so we can wrap up with that. Okay, I'm open by appointment now, and uh, my phone number I'll put in the comments section after this. The address is 1357 Main Street in Brewster, Massachusetts. I open with regular business hours starting May 23rd, Memorial Day weekend, and I go through to early to mid-December. So that's an annual uh, schedule, and in the summer I am open 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., Tuesday through Saturday, uh, but uh, I may extend that to six days a week uh, given the amount of traffic we've had in the last year. So that's a good problem to have. And then yes, finally, tell us once more. So we're offering the sharks are yes. normally twenty nine ninety nine. Yes, and they're going to be twenty six ninety nine to anybody who saw the video. Okay, you just have to say you saw the video. Right. And then this kit here is normally one ten, and we're going to go ninety five. That's right. And, and then this last one here, we're up to eight hundred dollars for this one. That's right. It's seventy five. Seven, you know, seventy five dollars. <laughs> we got one left, and I think Susan, I'm, I missed your last name, or it, I saw it, but I don't remember it. Uh, I think you want it. So Right. Anybody who wants it, just in case for some reason Susan decides not, uh, let me know because then I'll go to the next person. So uh, so that's that. And then also on the Cranberry Whole Cloth Quilt, it's uh, $65, but I'll take 10% off of that. And again, when you email june at quiltish.com, just say you saw uh, me uh, in the Scott Fortunoff video, and um, I'll respond and we'll get going on or what you want. they could call you, right? Yes, yeah, 703. So that's area code 703-403-9771. Okay, and then we're going to finale with this. Her new line is coming out. It's called the Lightkeeper's Quilt by Quiltish of Cape Cod. And right here for all you guys, it's, see, 12 SKUs and then below it the number one. That means it ships in January of 2020. Set your calendars. And the key piece to that collection is, of course, the panel. Yep, that panel, and then these hexes. So, all right, I'm going to say thank you to June. Thank, thank you, you, June. Thank, you, Scott. thank you for having me. And then I'm going to and I'm gonna walk out, and then I'm going to say goodbye and goodnight, and on to the next one. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.